This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project web pages at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 441015-1 or cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 443838-1. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Suwannee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4753, or email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. We will be presenting two overlapping projects this evening. The first, FBID 441015-1, involves milling and resurfacing, safety and mobility improvements, including bicycle lanes and sidewalks at various locations along State Road 434 from Range Line Road to west of Talmo Street in Longwood. Because of planned Seminole County improvements, a portion of State Road 434 on either side of Ronald Reagan Boulevard is excluded from this project. The second project, FPID 443838-1, involves safety and traffic operation improvements that include replacing the existing two-way left turn lane with a raised median from west of Oleander Street to east of East Street in Longwood. With any roadway improvement project, access to property is always a concern. This project includes access management changes. Access management is the careful planning, location, type, and design of access between roadways and land development. It is used to balance access and mobility and promote safety by reducing the number of conflicts or places where vehicles could potentially cross paths and collide. For the section of the project from Range Line Road to the exception west of Ronald Reagan Boulevard, the four existing travel lanes will be maintained but will be restriped to allow for the addition of bicycle lanes on each side of the roadway. The posted speed limit will be reduced from 45 miles an hour to 35 miles per hour. The milling and resurfacing or repaving of the existing roadway begins at Range Line Road and continues to west of Ronald Reagan Boulevard, where the exception begins. Bicycle lanes will be provided on both sides of State Road 434 between Range Line Road and Millwee Street. Additionally, some driveways will be reconstructed and abandoned driveways will be removed to enhance safety along the corridor. Other improvements along the project include sidewalk improvements, lighting enhancements, reconstructing sidewalk curb ramps, and upgrading pedestrian signals at intersections to meet current Americans with Disabilities or ADA standards. From east of Ronald Reagan Boulevard, the existing four lanes will be maintained. A raised median will replace the existing center two-way turn lane. 
the posted speed limit will be reduced from 45 miles an hour to 35 miles per hour. The milling and resurfacing resumes east of Ronald Reagan Boulevard. The existing two-way left turn lane will be replaced with a raised median with directional openings. This will allow traffic to turn right or left from State Road 434 onto side streets, while side street traffic must turn right onto State Road 434 and make U-turns to travel in the opposite direction. This configuration reduces the chances of angle and left turn crashes, which can result in the most serious injuries. Wider pavement will be provided at U-turn locations. At Grant and Wayman Streets, the traffic signals will be reconstructed and pedestrian signals will be added. Other improvements along the project include sidewalk improvements, lighting enhancements, reconstructing sidewalk curb ramps, and upgrading pedestrian signals at intersections to meet current Americans with Disabilities or ADA standards. We are currently in the design phase of the project schedule. Final design is anticipated to be completed by fall of 2022. Right-of-way acquisition will be needed for project FPID 443-838-1 and is expected to begin in fall of 2022. Construction is funded and expected to start in spring and summer of 2025. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. There are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by Sunday, January 30th, 2022, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. To submit comments in person, you may speak directly to project staff on the floor tonight or complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 441015-1 or cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 443 838-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at daniel.simpson at dot.state.fl.us, by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager directly at 386 943-5394 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 441-015-1 or 443-1. 838-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. The Florida Department of Transportation thanks you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have any comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Sunday, January 30th, 2022. Contact information a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project websites at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 441015-1 or cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 443838-1. Have a good evening.